Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store with a viewer question. The question is, is it necessary for pianists to sing? What a, it sounds like a crazy question at first, but there's a lot of validity to this. Consider this, virtually all piano majors at conservatories and universities around the country, almost all of them sing in the chorus or they play an instrument in the orchestra, but typically the choir, unless somebody has a strong second instrument. Now, not only that, but uh, also in studying music theory, sight singing is an intrinsic part. I've had several videos on sight singing because I consider it to be very important. Think about this. The piano and singing are about as diametrically opposed instruments that exist in the world. How so? Well. The human voice is the most natural instrument. It's the only instrument that everybody has and everybody has tried out. And it was the first instrument and for millennia, it was the only musical instrument until people started banging on things and blowing through things. And even then, it's all evocative of the human voice. What's so unique about the human voice more than any other instrument, and there are some instruments that come close, but only the human voice do you absolutely have to hear the note you're singing in order to produce the pitch. Not on a piano. The piano, you could have no idea what this note's gonna sound like. Push a key. And that pitch is going to sound every time if your piano is functioning properly. Now, what's wrong with that? Well, it's really important to hear what you're playing. How do you quantify what you're hearing of what you're playing? Because after all, a teacher can make corrections, you can do all the right fingering, you might play a, a no perfect performance but not really hear what you're doing. Well, this is not only dangerous, but it's also not very gratifying. You really wanna hear what you're doing. How to know that you're hearing all your, all your notes. This is really important in performance when inevitably you get off track. It will happen, it doesn't matter who you are and how experienced you are. You will get off track where your fingers are over the wrong keys and it just sounds wrong and you have to make it sound right and get back on track again. Well, if you can't hear it, you're pretty much done for if you're doing it all by feel. That's where singing comes in. Because if you can sing your music, you can kind of play by ear and find your way. If you never sing, how do you know that you're actually hearing what you're playing? It's a tremendous tool. Likewise, singers really need to study the piano. It's a really important instrument, or at least some polyphonic instrument, guitar, organ, something where they can hear the underlying harmonic structure, because after all, you can't sing more than one note at a time. So singers must study the piano, and pianists must sing. Now, does that mean you have to be a professional singer? Of course not. In fact, I've never had any singing training in my life, and if you've heard me sing on some of these videos, you could probably attest to that. But the fact of the matter is, I sing constantly as a way of hearing better. And for me, I love sight singing with the syllables because then I know what I'm hearing. It quantifies the notes. So I recommend very strongly singing your music. For example, if you have music that has counterpoint where you have interweaving lines, Try singing one of the lines as you're playing, then try singing a different line. You will learn immeasurable amounts of your music. By singing it, you'll understand it in a way you never will from only playing it on the piano. So I would say the answer to this question is yes, singing is necessary to develop as a pianist. Great question, who would have thought? Thanks so much for joining me once again. Robert Estrin here at your online piano store, Living Pianos. See you next time.